Hey you, yeah you, before we get this video started, I just want to say a thank you for those who have been a member of my Patreon. If you want to be a member of my Patreon, I'll leave a link in the description down below right here. And there's a list right here of all the people who have been a member or a following member of the Patreon to help keep this channel alive. I would appreciate it if you do show, show your support guys. Uh, you guys are awesome and I really thank you for your support. Also, c commissions are open, so if you want to want a commission for me to draw something for you, go to my DeviantArt page right here as well in the link in the description, and I'll draw something for you. But make sure you hopefully follow the rules in my Patreon, on my on my Patreon and commission, so you can get so you can get it up, so we can get it on the list for you to for me to draw something for you guys. I would really appreciate it if you do, and yeah. As always, take care, and have a great day, and let's start the video, shall we? What is up YouTube, Frost the Hobbit in here, and today we're back with another reaction video for all of you. And this is a Patreon request video by Ingazilla, by Ingazilla, episode one of Super Science Friends. It's an adult animation. The ep this is the Super Science Friends episode one. Uh, I believe I have never heard of the Super Science Friends. I've never heard of this. That's I'm reading the description. I just scroll down to see if I got the title right. This is new to me. I'm Ingazilla. You got me into different videos that I've never seen before. So I am interested. So thank you for that. And I appreciate it. So if you haven't seen this video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. So go check it out for yourself. And then you can come back and see my reaction to it. So without further ado, let's get on to the reaction video, shall we? And please support the official release to make sure they have done a lot of work. They've done so much work on making these videos. Please appreciate the artists and, and their hard work as I show my support. Anywho, without further ado, let's get on to reaction. In three, two, one, go. Okay, Big Ben. Oh, that's an interesting art style. Okay. Edison. Okay, I mean, they've taken elements from different, different scientists. Is that a Pope? Is that a- I'm sorry, was that- what the heck? S Tesla. Edison. <laughs> I guess they weren't kidding when they say super science. Oh, I see what they mean by adult. Oh, German wow. Troops continue their march toward Leningrad. Oh, Nazis. The Japanese Crap. occupy Saigon. And the United States continues to mull it all over. The yeah, U.S. is just partying, not partying people. Continues. Until response, until Pearl Harbor. Churchill has traveled back in time and assembled the greatest scientific minds the world has ever known in a last-ditch effort. Tesla, known pigeon enthusiast and master of electricity. Tapudi, the world's first chemist, whose comics and perfumes can cloud the minds of men. Oh. Charles okay. Darwin has the ability to metamorphosize into any animal, but does his radical theory of evolution hold any water? God only knows. <laughs> Marie Curie, mistress of radiation, and she's definitely a no-nonsense kind of gal. Got it. Sigmund no Freud. nonsense. We're not okay. really sure why he's here. Oh, you because don't know. I have the power to control people's sexual thoughts. Oh. Uh, no. No! And the newest member of the team, a 14-year-old clone of Albert Einstein. Time is relative to this young man, allowing him to travel at super speeds. Okay. Together they form the I'm super still disturbed about the uh Now let's listen in. I'm still disturbed what what he did to that child. Adventure. More right, super science friends. This week we're facing our and his greatest mother. threat ever. Patent infringement? Male chauvinism? That giant Hitler bot that keeps trying to get in? Oh, that that's a problem. No, it's even worse. All of England's apples are disappearing. Wait, what? And these are the only apples left. You can barely make a decent cobbler out of this. That's what you get them for? Of course, that's true. I wish he wouldn't call me that. 
I've traced the mysterious disappearance of Eppers to some time in the late 1600s. Oh, wow. For some reason, someone or something has traveled to that moment and is systematically destroying them. Every Granny Smith, every Macintosh, and yes, even the Red Delicious. King of all the apples. Hmm. Perhaps the villain is harvesting the apples as an energy source to fuel some sort of apple-powered doomsday device. Outrageous! This plague upon our apples could only mean the death of the bumblebees. We'll find their little bee carcasses strewn across the land. Okay. You need to go back in time and discover... Oh, you have a, you have a cigar maker. This. That is... I really think that maybe Hitler bot is a... To the science mobile! Okay. Not so fast, Albert. You know you're not old enough to go on missions. This E equals MC sucks. <laughs> Why? I have to go to the bathroom. You should have gone when you before you left. I'm sure you can pee in the woods. <laughs> if there's no bathroom, then make your own bathroom. Ah! That was weird. Bye, Freud. Good luck with your mission. 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 Is time travel this weird? She's like, meh. Whatever did you do? Well, I had him flogged within an inch of his life, of course. Children are more troubled than they're with. Right. Wait, what? Well, they're dead. I'm sure that wouldn't... I'm sure that wouldn't affect time, wouldn't it? They might have been important. Or not have important. Come here, Darwin. Come here, boy. The super science okay. arrived safely in the past. Excellent. Now pay close attention, Albert. These people are professional researchers. Observe how they hunt for clues, not even letting the most minor detail go unnoticed. Yeah, he left. God damn it. What did you expect? He's a teenager. I'll show you who's not old enough. Where do we even begin? Finding some apples would be a good start. This part of the orchard seems completely devoid. First one to find an apple wins ten minutes behind the cider shed with me. Why? No apples here. No apples here. No apples here. No apples. No apples. <gasps> it can't be. Oh. <gasps> Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton? You don't even know how oh, you're a fan of him. I gotta tell the others. They're never gonna believe it. Lasers. If that's the case, then we're looking at technology far beyond our own. Which means whoever is meddling in this time must be from the future. Well, I don't mean okay. our future, but the future. The future future. Right. Classic female hysteria. Hmm. Of course. Guys! Guys! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You're never gonna believe it. Einstein, what are you doing here? Never mind that. Listen! An apple orchard is no place for a young boy. Wait, I'm telling you! If you needed help with your biology homework, there it is. waited until we got home. No, 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 no! Look. Hey, you found the apples. You're a little younger than what I usually go for, but I guess no. a deal's a deal. Stop, stop, uh, stop. It's Isaac Newton. Besides totally being my hero since I was born, he's also the father of modern physics. His theory of gravity changed the world. Which he thought of when an apple fell on his head. <gasps> yes. He's even more majestic than I imagined. He stopped breathing on me. 
Besides, Newton is totally overrated. I mean, he still believes in alchemy. What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> what the devil are those? What's wrong? Oh. Abominations of nature. Russian. Oh no. That's gonna take a while, buddy. Z3, is Churchill there? Hey, Churchill. I think we found who's been destroying the apples. My God. Z3, analysis. One moment, while I scan the timeline for a visual match. <laughs> Is all that necessary, buddy? Even he's falling asleep. <laughs> they are future Soviet cosmonauts originating from the mid Soviet robots. The future? From the extended analysis. Wait, from the 80s? I covered a propaganda film detailing their mission. Roll it. Soviet Russia. Behold our brave Russian cosmonauts. Here in state of art training facility, they eagerly work day and night preparing to be forced people ever going into space. Here they board Sputnik, which stupid Americans believe to be merely satellite, when really is spaceship. Its roomy interior features all comforts of home. Insignificant problems such as solar radiation leaks are easily overcome. Observe how their strong Russian bodies quickly adapt to rigors of space travel. That's a... Uh, that's a painful experience. Red planet of Mars and go back in time to They're start still alive! ...understanding of physics from ever happening. Our cosmonauts will change course of history for the glory of Mother Russia. If their plan succeeds, it will irreparably damage the course of human history, and all that we know will cease to exist. Oh no. The super science friends must ensure that the apple hits Isaac Newton's Call head. Come space zombies from the future. Get them. Okay. That's simple. <laughs> okay. That works. No. Oh, snap. Of course. Okay, Raiden. Why do all that dramatic? Oh. Okay. That'll get their attention. That'll give them a real boner. Get it, Bona, because they're skeletons. That looks painful. Is she okay? Yikes. They keep killing the... That last apple. Crap. You think you've won, but there's one thing you've forgotten. That Winston Churchill is my mentor. And if oh, there's wow. one thing he taught me, it's to always Pack a lunch. What? 
it, it falls on his head, not, not hit him. In. It's gonna get stopped, isn't it? It's gonna get stopped. You killed him! <laughs> it came right off. You murdered your hero! You What the devil do we do now? You have a time machine. Travel Let's back. Get the hell out of here. Wait. How does it turn out? I need to check the history books. Hmm. Close enough. Close so enough? Close. You don't even know how you lie. Wait, apparently there's more. Oh, there's more. I, I skipped to the... Ugh, did you see this episode? That is not what Marie Curie was like. Really? Tell me about it. And that Nazi bomber at the beginning? Wasn't it <laughs> what is going on? Until like 1942. What is going on? Not to mention that the apple falling on Isaac Newton's head was a total myth. To think that the greatest discovery of all time had anything to do with it. <gasps> okay. That happened. The way to the ground, your that was uh, something. I gotta say, that was something. I... <laughs> I don't know what a poor Isaac Newton he got killed in the end. Oh man, I'm like I knew throwing it in the side of his face is not how it went. It fell on his head. I think. Oh my goodness. I guess that's what happens. You add too much force into it. And Winston Churchill going checking the books like, wait, how did it go in the history books? And it was something similar. And he's like, eh, close enough. No! Oh man, their timeline is messed up. Their timeline must have been messed up. But anywho, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. What were your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Wow! Just wow! <laughs> anywho, take care, have a great day, be safe, and most importantly, stay frosty and stay healthy out there. Catch you all later and have a good day. What? Jonna, quickly, be racist! You f this <laughs> you hear that, stupid? My fiance hates your whole stinking race. Bet you didn't plan for that. <sighs> Follow me.